you know, people who live in this community should not get up in the morning and say, oh, we live in a miserable, polluted community. But they should demand that finally the problems that were discovered first by their grandparents should not be passed along to their grandchildren. So we're here today for a couple of reasons. One, we're here to call alarm to the federal um, Superfund program, uh, which has been running out of money for a number of years now. And we're also here to highlight contamination problems Enjoy at the Newtown Creek, uh, which stands, which we stand before. Time and time again, we have been holding press conferences here. I don't know how many times I've been standing at this same site, asking, begging uh, the Bush administration and now the Obama administration to do right on behalf of the surrounding communities who for too long have been suffering. They've been neglected and they've been exposed not only to the oil spill but also to chemicals that have been polluting this area and the water. For too long we have allowed the Newtown Creek scandal to be kind of this thing that we say, oh, tis tisk isn't that a shame. We are all done with that period in our New York civic life. We are going to try to solve this problem once and for all. If it means dragging oil companies that signed a too loose uh, 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 agreement into court to have it reconsidered, we're going to do that. If it means getting the federal government to come down, whether with the force of the Attorney General or the force of the Superfund, a reinvigorated Superfund, that's what we're going to do. But we are no longer going to say, you know what, it's going to be another generation that we have to deal with the largest urban uh, oil spill in American history seething under our feet. So today we're also here to talk about the need to add New Temp Creek to the Federal Superfund Program, a fully financed Superfund Program. On an annual basis, we the taxpayers are paying over $1 billion a year to clean up Superfund sites all across the country. And that's because the polluters pay fee expired back in 1995. One of the other issues that we want to call attention to um, since the Superfund program was created is the fact that now today, instead of the polluters paying for the cleanup of toxic sites such as Newtown Creek, we the taxpayers are paying to clean up uh, for Superfund sites. On an annual basis, we the taxpayers are paying over $1 billion a year to clean up Superfund sites all across the country. We're here to start the push or continue the push to reverse that. We're going to do it both in Washington by reinstituting the fund that has those companies that are most likely to have contributed in the past and most likely to be the ones to contribute in the future pay into a fund. This is why it's so important that we support, or Congressman Wiener and I, our co-sponsor of H.R. 564, the Superfund Reinvestment Act, reinstating the source of funding. It is important that we have the funding that we need to clean up this site. For too long, our neighbors were being dumped on and then ignored. How can it be families who grow up in this neighborhood, raise their families in this neighborhood, how can you pay your taxes and then think your government's on your side when this has been ignored for so long? How can it be when you have families that have had health consequences um, that, that many believe, I believe rightfully so, are linked to the pollution in Newtown Creek uh, and, and both the polluters and, worse, the government turned a blind eye? Now, how can you believe that somebody is on your side? It's time for that change. And it's important to remember that. Every year that goes by, the companies that have caused pollution, like ExxonMobil causing pollution in Newtown Creek, every year that they avoid paying for that cleanup is every year that they make additional profits. So if they don't pay for the cleanup, that's more money in the bank. And that's not equitable. Given the outrage that we are witnessing across the country regarding the use of taxpayers' money to pay bonuses for CEO executive in Wall Street. We are asking that the polluters do what is right, that they should pay to clean the mess and the environmental degradation that they have been causing throughout sites like the one that we are seeing today. Our legislation, Nidia is in mind, that led to the study that's going on now, we hope will result in, in, in some outcome sometime in April, May, we are going to start getting results. 
we're hopeful that we can refinance some fund this year, especially given the fact that President Obama has been supportive of this, and he's actually added the Superfund tax to his budget proposal. Every single time that Nitty and I have looked for help, Eric Joy has been there, the Riverkeeper has been there, the Newtown Alliance, and active community residents in this community said we're not going to take it anymore, have been there shoulder to shoulder with us. We're committed to giving the legislative tools and the funding tools necessary. Riverkeeper and the Alliance has been the, the, the intellectual muscle and the research muscle behind this. And hopefully what we're going to be able to say as a legacy of this is that we're not just going to see one or two waterfowl gamely swimming along here, but we'll be able to say this is a true waterfront community with a waterfront and a below water and a below ground uh, that we can be proud of. That is why this type of report is so important because we're going to have all these elements coming together. You know, on the one hand, uh, the testing and EPA uh, coming out with a report to determine whether or not there is sufficient evidence uh, that um, uh, really um, will back up the designation as part of the Superfund uh, priority list. On the other hand, what good does it do if we don't have the money? So pushing for this type of legislation, and that is what this report is calling for, and having the legislation and getting more support among uh, members of Congress. If you'd like to read the full report that's available on our website at chej.org. You can also see a copy of the letter that the Newtown Creek Alliance is sending to the new EPA administrator today, as well as a fact sheet about Newtown Creek.